Morning guys, the time now is 8.41am, currently I'm being here, but I've got a special delivery coming to the house this morning before 10am, so I need to make myself look a little bit more human, <laughs> get back home for this delivery, anyway, let's get it. Just coming, mate. Just me looking for the keys. It wasn't even locked. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? So, yes. Ugh, what a morning. What a rush to the morning. Looking a bit more human now, I think you'd agree. Looking a bit more awake. Uh, the time is now 9.40 a.m. Uh, as you can see, my delivery has just come. And you're probably thinking, Luke, what are, you, what are you talking about? What's this delivery? What's going on? Well, we've just started up a new business, guys. Some of you may know because I mentioned in my reaction. I started up a new like sweet business, selling American and English sweets. And today, we've had a new delivery. And I feel it may be a bit of a mistake. Hemorrhaging cash at the moment. Uh, Max Tuning, another YouTuber I watch, he's got a great saying he uses a lot. Every problem can be solved with a positive mindset and more money. Well, I've got both of those things. Well, actually, I've got a positive mindset. Have I got more money? No, I haven't. I'm literally hemorrhaging cash. I've just brought two massive, more, two big boxes more of stock. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys what's inside the box. Hi guys, we got all sorts of sweet treats in here I tell you, never have I spent so much money on sweets, now bearing in mind this is the second delivery that I've got for, for, for the business so far, and um, we've got some different items in this one, some slightly rarer American items in here, but yeah, guys, have a look at this, some Starburst, some Twizzlers. I'm going to open all the boxes in just a second. Some Maltesers. This is meant to be more of a festive item. You'll see there, they're like Malteser reindeers. Um, some Butterfingers, which I hear are very popular. Let me know if let me know if you know, guys, if you're from America or whatever. I hear they're very popular. What we got underneath here? We've got some Rolos. And they're looking very festive as well. You see how I've gone for festive items, guys. I'm going to talk to you more about that in a bit. But anyway, and then we've got these jelly bean boxes as well, which I think is a nice little treat as well to go inside our mystery boxes. Yes, and more Twizzlers. Over here, what have we got in here? This is my last item. I don't even know what this is. I might have to open these ones up to be sure. What are these? Oh my goodness. These are the Tootsie Rolls. Every single little bit of it. Anyway, let's get it out and I'm going to tell you guys what the plan is for this stock and what we're actually doing. What is this business? So many things I want to show you guys. I want to show you my new van as well. I've got a new van. I sold the car to, fa to facilitate this business. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. So stick around. Stick around. Yeah. So, guys, I've just been going through all of the new stock I just got in, writing down the prices. You know how much it costs me to get in what sort of margins we want to get on it all that sort of thing i'm all new to this i'm new to this because i'm just getting into this whole new business world this is my first kind of business which i'm running 
So, um, so yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you guys, because I've been um and ah over what to put in these Christmas hampers. So I've got these Christmas hampers here, I've got two different boxes I've got in. I've got this one here, which is quite a nice little uh, Christmas box. I've got Santa and snowman and stuff like that on, which is pretty cool. And then this one here, which is a bit more heavier, because it's actually full of some stuff, which I'm going to ask you guys on your opinion on what you think should go in the box. So this one here is just a nice one, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and it's got a lovely Christmas tree on it. So I feel like these are really good quality boxes, um, and that is what I'm, I'm getting the Christmas hampers packaged up in. So I've just gone through the cost in. I've got so much more stock here, actually, that um, I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, other than the new stuff that I've got in, I've got Mike and Ike's, Milk Duds, Airheads, Sour Patch Kids, Warheads, Nerds, and many different flavours of each of those. So, but inside this box here, you guys let me know, okay? I'm doing this in English pounds, £25 for this box, but full of goodies, and I'm going to show you guys what's inside. Here we go. So, uh... You know, I'm loving just to get the opinion of you, my lovely subscribers. Let me know what you think. So, inside here, we've got a box of Sour Patch Kids. Uh, these are just the, the originals, but it might be an extreme that go in there. because I've got quite a lot of those in stock. Um, it's a mixture of English and American treats, these ones. So, we've got some Rolos in there in a nice festive packaging, like I said to you before. Um, so, I think that's pretty cool. Um... Some Twizzlers, Twizzlers. Uh, these are the strawberry ones. Apparently, low-fat snack. Who knows? But they look good. Twizzlers, um, and then we've got a selection of these Airhead bites or bars, if you like. So, I've got a selection of these here. Got six different ones in here. So, I think that's quite good. Um, I'm trying to go for as much variation inside these boxes as possible. So uh, we've got grape, green apple, uh, cherry, uh, watermelon, blue raspberry, and orange. So we've got those in there as well. Um, got some of these jelly beans. You can see that on there, it's from the Jelly Bean Factory. Uh, 36 flavours in here. That's pretty amazing. Um, so a nice little tub of those. Um, we've got some Butterfinger Bites, which is another American item. Crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery. There we go, what a slogan. Um, gluten free, 25 calories per piece. Sounds good to me. Um, so we've got those in there as well. Uh, got a few more goodies to come yet. Starburst, but these aren't just any Starburst. These are the Fave Reds. Uh, I've never even had these ones before myself. Bursting with fruit juice. Um, really good size quality bag, I think that is. Um, so that's all part of the Christmas hamper as well. It's just one of the packages I'm putting together. But like I said, there might be a few different packages. So um, uh, just a little chocolatey item there. Just a Maltesers reindeer. Nice and festive as well. Um, two more items in here. Some Nerds Rainbow Mix. Nice big box of those. I think that's like a theatre box. Um, so that's pretty cool. And finally, a bag of Tootsie Roll Midges, which is another American item. And, um, you know, these are quite expensive for me to buy in, to be fair. So they're a real nice little treat. And I think, personally, that looks pretty well jam-packed full of goodies for 25 quid. Let me show you some of the other stock that I've got in. Um, so these are basically all the Airhead bars that you've already just seen that are going inside the packages. Inside the packages, sorry. Um, these are the Warhead cubes. Uh, we've got Swedish Fish Mini Tropical. Um, you've seen the Nerds already. We've got Milk Duds, which is another nice little treat. Uh, Mike and Ike Cotton Candy. A bit more of a rarer item. Swedish Fish Tropical. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got Mike and Ike's made different flavours. These are the Red Rages that you've seen the cotton candy, and I've got many other flavours as well. All we've got under here. So we've got Tropical Typhoon. Um, we've got 
original fruits. Um, so Mike and Ike, I've got, I've got, yeah, I've got another one here as well actually. Um, Mega Mix. So I've got quite, a, quite a lot of different flavours of Mike and Ikes. Um, uh, yeah, different nerds here as well. I've got the sour nerds here, uh, sour big chewy. So there's quite a lot of variation here. I actually started this business only about a week or two ago, uh, probably two weeks ago. I had my first event at, um, at like a music event that my friend was running, got me down there, made some sales, which is cool. We're trying to do more events. Um, that's the idea. Um, the whole point of what I'm trying to get across in this business, it's a mobile sweet shop. So it can bring the sweets straight to you, supply direct to consumer, I can deliver to your door, um, individual packets of sweets or of course the boxes and the hampers the mystery boxes that we've just gone through there um, but also go to parties events Christmas fairs Christmas markets and set up a store and have like a display of sweets there that people can come and get anyway I've got some exciting exciting thing that I want to show you guys my van I told you earlier on in the video that I'd sold my car we've got a van have even got a sign on the van for the business. I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so parties, oh, events, okay. I'd come along and I'd set up like a like a sweet stall and people could come and get what they wanted. So, for you to be covered for business use um, with the new occupation, it would increase the premium uh, for the full year an additional £447.78. Um, but I'm going to give you the figure of what it would, uh, how it would affect your monthly payment. Uh, let me just get that figure. In the end, I could not get insurance with that company. Um, I've still got my personal insurance with them for the, just like my day-to-day -day insurance, but apparently I was told that I had to cancel my insurance and then set up a new um, commercial insurance policy. And then I went through all of the application with them to get a quote. And for some reason, they just don't seem to like musicians. I don't know what it is. Let me know in the comments if you're a musician and you've had that problem as well. But they just don't like us. As soon as you tell them that you're a musician, they either say we can't cover you or it's going to be extortionate. Um, I don't know if they think we're all just like doing, you know, drinking, drinking and all sorts of other stuff whilst we're out. I mean, I just go do my gig and come home. I don't even drink. You know what I mean? No, anyway, we're going to eat some food. Nothing special. Literally just some very pretty much burnt fish fingers. Oh dear. Potato waffles, uh, some sweet corn, bit of ketchup. Gonna smash this, and I think well, we, we we need to do a reaction video today. So that's one thing we're gonna do. We're probably gonna end the video with doing a reaction, um, and then we also need to work out. It's Chanel at the Fitness Plus Studio in LA with my friends and teammates Kim and Bakari. This 30 minute slow flow is a great way to take some time for yourself to relax and recharge. Throughout this practice, you'll be encouraged to find a sense of ease in each of the postures. We start seated to release tension in our hips and legs before moving into a standing sequence that prepares us for tree pose. And then from here, start to walk your hands forward. Not too much, we're only getting started. Feeling nice and stable, and if you feel stable enough, you can extend your arms towards the sky. <sighs> Exhale. Bring that energy to your heart. Thank you for relaxing and recharging with us. As you can see, guys, we're in kind of a familiar spot here. Familiar to you guys. The camera angle that you're used to seeing when I do my reactions. 
yes, I'm just about to film my reaction now. Um, but yeah, we just finished putting the social media posts um, for Luke Sweets from Afar up on my Facebook and my Instagram page. Uh, just some pictures of uh, a couple of different hampers I'm offering and some different packages and box sets that people can buy. Um, you guys are seeing them right now on your screen, so let me know in the comments what you think of them. Um, I think they look pretty cool, uh, look pretty inviting, and the prices I feel are very, very reasonable. Um, so... Yeah, hopefully some people will snag some of that up for Christmas presents for loved ones or even just a little treat for themselves. But anyway, we're going to get into filming this reaction. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in today to this vlog. Um, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. We've got to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's just been a bit of a weird one today. It's just been me going about my day-to-day -day business, getting uh, getting things up and running with the Luke Sweets from afar. So, hope you guys are well. Hope you guys enjoyed the Chris Cleaford reaction that you just heard a little bit of there. Um, if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. It's up on the channel now. It was up just before this vlog went up. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs as well as enjoying the reactions. Uh, let me know. Post in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from as well because it always means the world that you guys sit and watch my videos. And uh, I can't wait. I literally cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Next vlog's coming Friday this week. Next reaction coming a lot sooner. <laughs> Cheers guys, take care.